Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is July the 26th, 2022. And before I jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the links in my description real quick. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you, so please check that out down below in the description. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. Now, with that being said... Let's get moving. Starting our loser section off today with Imperial Seal, the borderless version of this card from Double Masters 2022, down 5.38% today from $169.19 to $160.09 for its market price, and its average price is $175. And the next loser on our list is an Arabian Nights card, and that card is Bird Made in the Light Art version of this card, down 8.92% from $15.92 to $14.50 for its market price, and its average price is $11.86. Next up on the loser section is Seasoned Pyromancer from Double Masters 2022, down 8.95% from $23.91 to $21.77 for its market price, and its average price is $26.04. Next up is Monastery Mentor, another card from Double Masters 2022, down 9.04% from $11.39 to $10.36 for its market price, and its average price is $11.11. .11. Next up is Rubinia Soul Singer from Legends. This Legends Rare is down 9.67% from $60.48 to $54.63 for its market price, and its average price is $59.99. Next up on the loser's list is Glacial Fortress from the Secret Layer series. This card is down 13.71% from $16.49 to $14.23 for its market price, and its average price is $12.00. And 75 cents. And we've got Dark Steel Plate, another Double Masters 2022 card, down 18.25% from $6.74 to $5.51 for its market price, and its average price is $7.49. And the next loser on our list today is Molten Echoes from Commander Inishrod Crimson Vow, down 18.91% from $7.88 to $6.39 for its market price, and its average price is $8.00. Next up on the losers list today is Master of the Wild Hunt from Masters 25. This reprint is down 23.92% from $5.10 to $3.88 for its market price, and its average price is $5.19. Our final loser of the day is Jetmere Nexus of Revels from Streets of New Capenna, down 24.90% from $5.22 to $3.92 for its market price, and its average price is $4.00. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Axelrod Gunnarsson from Legends. This Legends Rare is up 6.62% today from $27.18 to $28.98 for its market price, and its average price is $19.74. Now, the Chronicles reprint of this card with the same artwork is a lot cheaper at $0.22 cents for its market price, and its average price is $0.42. Cents. Next winner is Thunder Spirit from Legends. This Legends Rare Reserveless card is up 6.97% from $214.97 to $229.95 for its market price, and its average price is $168. 
Next winner on our list today is Unlicensed Hearse. This is the extended art version of this card from Streets of New Capenna, up 7.79% from $15.91 to $17.15 for its market price, and its average price is $16.69. The regular version of this card from the same set is currently sitting at $13.53 for its market price, and its average price is $14.49. Now this card is seeing a ton of modern play in Merc Died Regent decks as well as Death Shadow, but it sees a lot of Pioneer play as well in Rakdos Midrange, Rakdos Sacrifice, and also Mono Blue Spirits. Next up is City of Brass from Double Masters 2022. This land is up 8.70% from $12.18 to $13.24 for its market price, and its average price is $14.98. The original printing of this card from Arabian Nights is currently sitting at $559.99 for its market price, and its average price is $690.97. And the Double Masters 2022 borderless version of this card is currently sitting at $18.24 for its market price, and its average price is $21. And the foil etched version of this card from the same set is currently sitting at $29.95. This card does see a lot of commander play, but it also sees some modern play in Ad Nauseam decks. And it sees a ton of dredge play in the modern format, legacy format, and also the vintage format as well. And we've got Dryad of Elysian Grove from the Secret Layer series up 8.70% from $36.34 to $39.50 for its market price, and its average price is $39.91. The original printing of this card from Theros Beyond Death is sitting at $15.09 for its market price, and its average price is $16. Next is Verdant Catacombs from Modern Horizons 2. This card is up 9.20% today from $15.44 to $16.86 for its market price, and its average price is $19.76. Now, the original printing of this card from Zendikar is sitting at $19.01 for its market price, and its average price is $22.01. Now, this card did see a reprint from Modern Masters 2017, and that version of the card is sitting at $16.74 for its market price, and its average price is $20.86. Now, this card sees a lot of play in the modern format in decks like Yawgmoth, as well as Jun, but it sees some vintage play in Hogak decks and Legacy decks like Elves. And we've got Atawara Soaring City from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This legendary land is up 10.09% today from $12.09 to $13.31 for its market price, and its average price is $11.99. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $13.78 for its market price, and its average price is $14.94. And the showcase borderless version of this card from the same set is sitting at $18.38 for its market price, and its average price is $17.90. This card does see a little bit of modern play in decks like Merktide Region. It also sees some standard play in Jeskai Control decks, but it also sees some pioneer play in Is It Phoenix decks as well as Azorius Control and Mono Blue Spirits. And we've got Hivis of the Scale from Mirage. This reserve list card is up 11.22% today from $9.45 to $10.51 for its market price, and its average price is $14.99. Next winner on our list is Maddening Hex, the extended art version of this card from Commander Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, up 11.75% from $14.55 to $16.26 for its market price, and its average price is $27.89. The regular version of this card is currently sitting at $12.24 for its market price, and its average price is $13.65. Our final winner of the day is another reserveless card from Legends, Lifeblood, up 12.87% from $49.71 to $56.11 for its market price, and its average price is $124.32. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. We are going to start that list off here with... Transcendent Master from Rise of the Eldrazi up 74.36% today from $7.45 to $12.99 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.39. Next foil is He Who Hungers from Champions of Kamigawa up 119% from $5.58 to $12.22 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.00. 
Next up on the foil winner section is Barbed Wire from Mercadian Mass. This old frame foil is up 120.02% today from $2.94 to $6.47 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.94. And we've got Yavamaya Coast from 9th edition up 141.26% from $20.72 to $49.99 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.43. Next foil on our list is Frenzy Sliver from Future Sight, up 204.13% from $1.21 to $3.68 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.55. And the next foil winner on our list is Unsummon, and this is the 8th edition version of this card, up 242.55% from $0.94 cents to $3.22 for its foil market price, and its average price is $0.85. Cents. Next up on our foil winner section is Sky Shroud Behemoth from Nemesis, another old frame foil up 246.94% from $2.94 to $10.20 for its foil market price, and its average price is $30. Our final foil winner of the day is Fool's Demise from Time Spiral. This foil is up 401.32% from $0.76 cents to $3.81 for its foil market price, and its average price is $1.33. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. And obviously, all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel. Also, let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite mover of the day? Which cards were you most surprised to see on the list? And which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today? I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. I also make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.